I found this tin on the top shelf of an old summer kitchen on a 150 year old farm property in northern Indiana. The owner, give you a closer look at this. The owner told me that this tin was most likely placed on the shelf and forgotten back in about the 1940s or earlier. It has been left undisturbed until this year, October 2020. Now this tin is beautiful. Not as rusty as most I've found. If you look here, the, the picture of Prince Albert is very clear. Not a whole lot of rust or any really. Um, if you look at other tins of this age, this does have some rust around the around the top, but if you look at most tins like this, um, they have probably a lot more damage. So it's a pretty impressive tin. The tin is not the best part of this. You will never guess the absolute treasure that I found inside. If we look inside, Oh, that's interesting. A nice little message there. Um, if we look inside, we have... Looks like a leather case shaped like a pipe. And we have some pipe cleaners down in there. All right. So this is... This is a very old. Very old looking case. And... If we open it up, there is a very interesting pipe inside, a very unusual pipe. I've never seen anything like this. I'm sure somebody has. Um, so we take a look at the pipe itself. We have a young lady on the pipe. Um, she has her arms above her head, kind of like a ballerina would. And um, it's almost like the pipe is a flower at the top. Both sides. And then um, I'm not sure. This kind of looks like um, the tip is plastic. It's done in an amber color. But I think some of these were actually made of uh, true amber at one point um, and then and then something there's this this pipe case is is not ordinary there's this uh, lining right here and you see there's a logo WDC genuine M E E R S C it looks like and I can't read the last part um, very interesting. And if you look at the, the pipe case here, um, try to get a better view of it here. Uh, but if we look at the pipe case, zoom in here, and you'll see that this is made specifically for this pipe, that her foot actually fits in there perfectly. And this is custom made to fit this exact pipe. So it's pretty neat. It's this pipe case has um, seen better days. It has uh, it. It looks like it has some tape along the edges to kind of keep it together. Um, but the inside is, is pretty nice. A little dirty looking, but uh, pretty nice. And we see some good signs of um, this being smoked. Okay. Um, and the smell. Um, it, it has a nice uh, tobacco smell from uh, being smoked. Very well preserved. After doing, uh, after doing a uh, Google image search for this, it looks like uh, the WDC Mirsch. It stands, uh, the Mirsch stands for Mirsham. So it's a genuine Mirsham pipe. And then I was able to um, look look up using that 
uh, the, the right words. I was able to look up on both Google and uh, eBay and find that um, there are many different um, designs. I actually found a few like this, um, but was unable to find anything exactly like this. So I, this design um, seemed to be maybe kind of a popular design with this girl kind of this way. But um, most of the examples I found online, she was much more defined um, in um, the area where she's, her leg is sort of away, like it was maybe fully cut out more. And uh, just a more defined, it gave me the impression that it was maybe, the ones I was seeing online were maybe newer versions. So, um, can't be sure about that. So anyway, I took this to the local, I found a local Mearsham pipe dealer and um, not that he's an absolute expert on these, but he um, kind of believes that this might be late 1800s, that this version could be late 1800s. So what I'm looking for um, from the YouTube community is I'd like to see more information about this, um, if possible. Anyone who might know anything about these pipes and can tell me, help me more clearly pinpoint the year and anything about this. Um, I have this um, on YouTube and I'm going to put it on eBay and see if I can find any um, experts on eBay that can help me um, figure out more about this pipe. I'd like to know more. So it, it was found in the tin. It was put away in the tin. The only thing we know is it's, you know, it's not really newer than the tin. Um, well, probably not. Um, but it's, it, it, it probably most likely, um, from the information we have, most likely um, this pipe is probably much older than the tin. Uh, based on where we found it and family history and things like that. Um, it is very plausible that this is, in fact, late 1800s. I suppose it could be early 1900s. Um, so if you have mo any more information about, you know, what to call this design right here or what year it might have been produced. Um, I noticed that in my research, some Meershams were made in different places. So if anybody knows how to identify um, where this particular pipe might have been made or let me know how I can figure it out, uh, that'd be great. Here are some still pictures to give you an idea, a better idea of what this pipe looks like. Thank you for watching and enjoy.